Hi everyone, my name is Federico Tartarini and in this video I want to talk about Black. Black is a Python code for Matter. By using it, you agree to give away your freedom in formatting the Python code and Black will take care of all the formatting. Black actually comes with very little configuration option and that is a plus because different programmers may want to format their code slightly different. So when you're working on a shared project, then you're going to have problem, perhaps, reading the code that someone else has written. If you use Black, you give away, as I previously mentioned, all the power that you have to control the code formatting, and Black will take care of it using PEP8. In that case, you will, not, you will no longer have to worry about coding style and preferences, Black will take care of it, will format the code consistently throughout different projects, and then if you are keep using Black, you will see that you will always be able to read a code that you wrote in the past or a code that someone else has written. Black is great because you can simply install it on your computer using pip install black, and, and I will show you how to install that, and I will also show you how to integrate it in PyCharm, which I think is a very nice IDE, so I will show you all these steps. And Black can run either on save or you can decide when to specifically format each uh, single file. So let's open PyCharm. Okay, here we go into File, New Project, and we are going to create a new uh, pure Python project, project. Okay, so we are going to use the Python interpreter, which is Python 3.8, and we are going to create just a simple file here in our computer. Okay. Let me just change the font size, so you're going to be able to see a little bit better. So this is the code, how it is formatted by PyCharm. I love PyCharm, and PyCharm also comes with a feature that auto-formats the code. So let me just actually modify a bit the code. If I press Ctrl-Alt-L, PyCharm will actually format the code automatically for us. We'll indent this line here, and we'll remove this unnecessary space here. However, PyCharm uses his own formatting style. And if someone else is using, for instance, VS Code, these two formatting styles may not match, okay? And the formatting style of PyCharm uh, for Python files is highly configurable. So again, if you change your mind later on uh, during your career, or if you're working with someone else, uh, then the code, uh, how you format the code might change. Black will solve all these issues because it will always be consistently format the file in a simple and straightforward way using PEP8, okay? So if you want to read a bit more or know a little bit more about the concept behind Black, I would suggest you to go on their um, PyPy official website and look at this talk here from the creator of, um, of Black in which cause and explaining to the detail why you should stop about uh, out of um, like uh, formatting your code and you should embrace auto formatting. It's a very nice and interesting talk, but in this video I just want to show you how you can install it and how you can get started with Black. If you want to just have a quick overview of what Black does and how it's going to reformat your code, you can also again go here, Black PyPy, you can go on Black Playground, here I will put also a link into the description down below, and you can play with it, okay? Here you have the code on the left side, and here you will see how the code will be automatically reformatted. And for instance, we can see a straight away a difference between PyCharm and Black is that for strings, Black uses double quotation, okay? There are few minor edits or changes that you can do here in Black, and as I told you, it's not very highly conf uh, configurable, so you can change slightly uh, only if you want the line length, okay? and very other few, um, very few other options. One thing that you can still do is if you really, really want uh, not black to format your code in a certain way, um, maybe for instance, if you want to keep this uh, like list here in this specific order here, because it makes more sense to you or it, it makes a, um, there is a specific reason for that, you can temporarily disable black by using this uh, command here before the code. Okay, and then you can reactivate black here in the code using a, a formatting on. Okay, so that's the main difference. Actually, let me zoom out so you can also see a little bit better if you're watching on your phone. And this is only the things that um, very few um, configuration that actually you can apply. Okay, 
So now we'll see how to install it, um, how to install it on your computer, and how to get started with Black and how to integrate it into PyCharm. Before showing you how to do all these things, I just would like to take a second to ask you to like this video. If you like this content, to please subscribe to my channel because it really helps. I'm uh, just um, I'm just starting on YouTube, so it really helps to see that you like and subscribe to my video because it gives me actually a feedback regarding the fact that you like this type of video and it's also, it also helps with the YouTube algorithm. And please feel free to write a comment down below. If you like the video, please write something. Otherwise, if you have any questions, just write a comment down below the video. Okay, so let's just start with PyCharm. Again, you can use VS Code, PyCharm, doesn't matter. I like to use PyCharm, so I will show you how to integrate it in it and how to enable autosave, okay? So here we have auto, uh, our project, which we have in the download folder. So I could just show you here into the download folder and uh, just give me a second, open a new window. Yeah, here, so we have auto, auto, uh, our Python project, which inside here. So nothing, nothing strange, nothing difficult. Here we have uh, our project and inside it has one Python file. Okay, how can we install black? Well, from PyCharm is super simple, as long as we have been uh, select the right interpreter, which we are using uh, Python 3.8, um, we can just say pip install, and then we can say pip install black. Okay, this is going to install black on our computer. So you can see here, successfully install black on your computer. If you're not using uh, uh, PyCharm, and you have multiple version of Python, as me here install on your computer, you can just navigate to where you have installed Python. Okay, here, Python 3.8, for instance. And here, if you are in Windows, type CMD. So we'll open the command line. And then here you could do pip install black. Now we have already installed it on our computer. So it's not going to install it again because it's a requirement already satisfied. And also from here, we're going to be able to see that it's in scripts and there is black. This is going to be important, this part, because later on we will add it to PyCharm, okay? Alternatively, if you're using command prompt and you want to know where you have installed black, you can just type where black, okay? And this is going to give you the path where black has been installed. We just have to copy and paste it. However, if you're using PowerShell, you just have to use a slightly different command. So let's go back here. In PyCharm, I've configured that I'm using PowerShell here. And in this case, you have to use the command, the, com, the command, yes, get command. Actually, is the command is called get command. And then eventually we type black. And it's going to tell us the path. So this is the source path. Why do we need the source path? We need the source path because we want to add it as an external tool. What is an external tool? Well, when we go up here, tools, as you can see here, we have external tools and we have black. Just keep an eye for a second on this single quotation here. I will click on black here. So we get a message prompt here in the console, reformatted, and the file that we have reformatted. And we can see that here has reformatted the file for us. And it has put double quotation instead of single quotation. Okay? This is how black handles uh, strings. This is very nice. Alternatively, instead of going there, tools, external tools, you can also go into the terminal here. And then if you are inside the right path, so we are inside the right path of our project, you can type black, okay, and then you can type the name of the file, main.py. If I press enter, all done, one file left unchanged, of course, because there was no formatting issue. So let's go and, back and put back a single quotation. So black, and then we are going to start it again. And... Um, Okay, sorry, because there was an error, of course. I cannot just change one single quotation, otherwise there is an error. So now there is no longer an error. And let's do black again, black main, all file, one file reformatted, and now the file has been reformatted. However, this is, could be a little bit annoying because every time that we want to reformat a file, we also, we also have to say black dot and the name of the file, okay? So another alternative way, so let me just actually show you first how to add in the external tool. I missed that, sorry for that. So we can do Control Alt S. We are going to open here in settings. Okay, so we are going to go into the, um, into the settings. We are going to go into um, external tools. 
so we can look for it external tools okay so we double click here and you will not have black so you will have to put plus add and you are going to add a new external tool however i've already added so let me just show you the configuration that you need to add so name you're going to add black group you're going to add it into the external tool then what you need to add program you're going to add the location of where black was located okay and we got that information before so you should have copied that path before and we got it with let me open actually the command line for a second and again we can get that using where black so we just have to copy and paste the string here inside here as an argument we have to say file path with this dollar sign okay and i will put the link into the description of how to add the, all this configuration working directory project file directory okay and then you can press okay okay here this will appear black and then you can go again as i showed you before so let me actually show you this uh, um, single quotation okay and then we go tools external tool black and this is going to reformat our file another better way at least in my opinion is to run black on every file save how can we do that we can go in Control alt s and open the settings if you don't know how to open the settings like that you can always click on file and then settings you will reach always the same spot here and in this case we go into uh, preferences or settings okay so let me just go um, inside here and uh, let me go inside settings we go into file file watcher okay so we are inside uh, uh, let me just collapse this one just to show you so we are inside tools and then we are inside file watchers okay so inside file watcher we can add uh, a new file watcher this file watcher will check the file every time the file gets saved is going to reformat it with black so let's do add here and we do a um, a new watcher okay so it's going to be a custom watcher so what uh, we're going to call it and now we're going to edit this so name we're going to call it black file type has to be python because we want to format uh, we want to format python files okay scope is going to be in project files programs we have to specify the uh, path to black okay again cmd command prompt where black and let me just copy this okay let me copy this into here arguments we are going to have to type again same as before file path and then um, output path to refresh is the same so we want to update the same file we don't want to change another type of file and then here in working directory so working directory we just have to copy or as before we have to specify project file directory uh, also run it with a dollar sign okay and then we press uh, okay and then we press okay here uh, let me just check that everything was fine file watcher so here and then working directory advanced option and make sure that also you have the auto save edited file to trigger the watcher okay so let's go in here and let's go back here and let's be i want to always keep changing the same and i want to make always the same mistake so i want to use single quotation okay so let me fix let me change that now in PyCharm, can you see it has already changed automatically because it doesn't want me to do that black automatically is going to reformat our code automatically so let's go and grab the code that we used in the example before so here is the code that in the example before that we were using let's go and here ctrl a and ctrl v let's paste it here okay uh, actually this one uh, it uh, uses a lot of imports so okay sorry let's just copy a part of it because otherwise it's going to be a little bit uh, let me just copy the string from that file so let me copy here so we want to have this list and uh, let's copy it over inside here you will see that as you type the list 
Okay, the file will autosave and is going to reformat the file for you automatically. This is extremely handy because you will always keep uh, the, that consistent. Okay, and same again goes with spaces. So if I want to say print hello uh, world and then uh, I want to put some spaces, I don't know why, but uh, can you see automatically uh, black uh, um, is actually fixing the formatting for us because those spaces shouldn't be there. Let me actually try again, plus uh, so. As you can see, as I type, PyCharm is saving my file and is actually formatting it with black. I really hope you find this video useful. If you did, please consider liking it or subscribing to my channel. And thank you very much for listening. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section down below.